Hey y'all, welcome to Pews and Pull Starts. Beer discretion is advised. This ain't that cookie cutter shit you're gonna see on TV. It's real life. Thanks for joining me. Let's get to the action. Hey y'all, it's Eric here. Pews and Pull Starts, once again, back out in the woods. We are out here today setting up more bear baits, rebaiting, and uh, checking cameras. So I don't have anything back in this area. I would like to though, just because I know there's a good supply of water, relatively unaccessed. So I am going to get all, get all my shit ready to go. Go check out uh, the location that I potentially want to put one at and go from there. But I see other people have been out here recently Dumping fucking trash and TVs, fucking shocks off a motorcycle, TV, some other dumbass thing, more trash there. Oh, look, there's a hubcap. Fucking assholes. You guys got trash. Don't take it out into the woods and fucking dump it like a piece of shit. Go take it to a landfill. Be responsible. Don't be an asshole. I like these people. So, once I get all my stuff ready to go, I'm gonna get you guys strapped up and we're gonna head out. Check it out. Stay tuned. Lovely. So I shut my camera off. Fucking fantastic. Most of what you guys, uh, most of what I've done is not on camera. I uh, picked this location because it's got good water source nearby. It's fairly isolated. This will be the third bear bait that I set out. First one today. Haven't been to the other two uh, placed baits yet. I wanted to get this one because it's on the way. And I can swing out and check on the other ones after I get this one going. Yeah! I like wet shoes.
Okay, y'all. I'm done at the truck. I took a break because, well, I have covered myself in sweat, like drenched. It's hot. It's humid. I was working really hard, so I took a break back at the truck. We're going to head back out to the bait pit, get it baited, get it covered, and then we're going to go check uh, the first bait I put out and get that rebaited and covered. Check camera, too. Oh, I'm also going to hang a camera here as well. I got those with me, so let's get to it. I love wet feet.
Bucket. I'm heading to the next the all right y'all I'm headed to the next bait see you guys when I get there okay y'all ooh very red face some crazy sun anyway I'm at the uh this the first bait location the one that I filmed last week this is the first one that has actually been sitting out for uh it would be a week tomorrow so we're gonna come in and uh check it out see what uh see what happens so kind of excited kind of nervous first bait that we actually did bait so i'm gonna get you guys strapped up and we're gonna go find out what the hell actually happened so stay tuned let's get to it check the camera i've had bear on camera can't bait bait's been uh, refilled topped up i didn't put any more uh, liquid sent out i didn't I don't have three hands, so I only brought out uh, the two pails of cookie. Um, I'm going to go get to my last bait, and then I'm calling it. I'm just going to have to come out and uh, come out tomorrow and put out uh, two more tomorrow. So no big deal. I'm okay with that. Uh, I have sweat a ton today, so we're going to head back out and get back to the truck and get out to the last bait and get that one done. All right, I've made it to the last bait. Not the last bait I'm placing, but the last bait I am baiting today. I will be coming back tomorrow and placing another one. So this bait can't carry much bait, so I will definitely be bringing some of the caramel with me just to try and sweeten the beer a little bit.
Okay, bug spray is going on. Okay, and we're off again. While it isn't gonna be perfect, I'm hoping it's better than what it was. Holy fuck, what are you? You're a porcupine. I'll come back for you. My camera's still there. So that's a good sign. It has definitely been hit. Oh, he was all up on that. Got licked fucking clean. Oh, that's not as bad now. Definitely manageable. It took me 40 minutes to walk in, bait, and walk out. Well, I haven't walked out yet, but <sighs> doing good. Dude, this was a massive beaver dam. Like, these were some big fucking beaver. With how far back in here it is, I find it hard to believe that they would have gotten trapped. So it's very possible that they are still here. They just kept gold posting their dam further and further back in there. But I don't know, I haven't gone to find the water. A bit preoccupied with the fucking bear.
Well, I made it back to the truck just under an hour to walk out, bait, walk back. Oh boy, that was some work. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna have some adult beverages. You guys have a good one. Thanks for joining me. See you in the next one. Peace. So folks, I'm out today with my buddy Ben again. Uh, we're trying to get out a fourth bait for bear. This is mainly a scouting right now. Don't know exactly if I'm gonna put one out here or if the location I wanna get to is accessible. Some nice buck shit though. Mm -hmm. Wow, there are a lot of trees down. This is a, uh, gonna be an interesting walk out if I do get a bear. It's gonna be a long drag too. Yeah. This is one of them, one of them times the bait on shooting a big bear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Might, might just have to camp for the winter and just eat <laughs> Just hang out. Yep. What happened to Eric? He shot a bear and he couldn't get it out, so yep. he decided to live with yeah, it. You should have seen what that edge looked like before I sharpened it. Yeah. Somebody chowdered it with a grinding wheel. Oh, really? Yep. I did that entirely by hand. Did you really? Yeah. That's how I cut my thumb off. Oh. I'll do it. Wasn't even finished when it cut me open. Oh, really? No. <laughs> oh, right there, yeah. That's why I was like, hold up, this looks like the pot where we deviate. Yeah. I don't see any people tracks. What's that? Said I don't see any people tracks. Yeah. Nope. Any big foot tracks? No big foot. I always thought if you don't have the claws on the bears mm -hmm. and their feet land together, they look like a big foot. Ah. With that claw foot and the back heel. I got it. Oh, because they partial step inside it? Because they. Yeah, where they kind of overlap each other? Yep. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Something's been through here that wasn't small. Oh, yeah. This also kind of sucks. That also kind of sucks. There's another spot for you. Nice and soggy up there, you just get a lot of water. Yeah. Cause look at that right there. Yeah. What do we got for sign? Anything? Raccoon. Mink. Really? Mink out here? Is that what that is? Maybe really small coon. Well it's squirrel for sure. Oh. But that one almost looks yeah, maybe it's maybe it's just squirrel. Because that's what I thought, and I'm like, there's no water around here. Where would the mink really be? Well, they'll go cross country and so freaking dry right now. Oh, this is pretty dark in here.
chippy. Man, honestly, I'd almost consider putting one here. Oh, no. There's not very many hardwoods here. I don't want to put it here. No, you got one right in front of you, a bigger one, but not There's the clearing I was looking for. Something's, oh, look at this. Something has been through here. This has got to be a bear. This is a lot of stuff disturbed. Look at all this. Yeah, That's a really wide path for a deer. Watch out. I'm trying to go to the, okay. the clearing, just trying to find a nice path. Sure. Oh, nice yeah, because like basically I want to get to the other side. Although I may end up just Compromising somewhere on this side because unless we come from the other way. But. Don't know till we look. No, I learned that uh, on Sunday last week. I wouldn't have set that first bear bait location if it wasn't for my buddies telling me we're already here. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Yep, that's the biggest thing. Trap and Kugel, you know. Well, uh, this looks good, but. I had an idea on this other spot. Oh, this is nice. This is a lot less open than I was thinking it was. I'll keep it smoke some beer in here. I suppose. Let's start making our way back. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what weather's looking like tomorrow, but if it's uh, cooperating, yeah. let's see if we can get that fifth bait out then. Yeah. So you got three out right now? I have three, yes. Don't worry, I found it. <laughs> I didn't find it for very long. No. No. Yeah. Because these ruts. It's crazy how long ruts stick around. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is a bear, bear stump, dude. That is a bear stump. Well, I think that kind of settles it. I mean, it's even got the bottom on it. Yeah, I think that kind of settles it. Yeah, you thumped it and I looked, I'm like, that looks like fucking plywood. I'm like, oh shit. This is a very low effort, although I would want to put it in the ground. I don't want to leave it out. Right. Well, it's up to you. Do you think we want to put this one? It's your spot. I mean... Worst comes worst, you leave it out here two weeks, nothing hits it, you move it to the other side. I like your thinking. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's do that. That's worst comes worst. So. Well. Okay, where's the stand side? Oh, that's important. Yeah, that one means, I don't know. Oh, I didn't even see that one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. You got uh, the leaner, but the one straight behind that leaner is pretty straight and doesn't have any branches on it. My only concern is shooting one? lane. One of these ones wouldn't be bad. That one there would be good. The one behind this one? Oh, yeah. You could definitely do a climb around that. Mm-hmm. Not bad there's a group of five here that these maples here. Uh, that tree doesn't look too healthy, though. It's got a lot of... big ones look pretty good. Wouldn't use this front one that broke off. But... No. Well, that was just too bad. Well, I think that's a, that's a ticket. Uh, I'm going to start digging this hole, get, drop that stump down in, and then we're going to just have to find a cover. 
Because I think that one over there was pretty rotted if it was still there even. Yeah. Yeah, and as long as I keep it like right around here and keep it away from that tree, I shouldn't have any issues. Okay. I would say this would be a relatively good spot right here in this low. Yeah, dig it down, stick it in, and then all I gotta do is get some blocking to keep, well, the trees are gonna help me keep them from coming that way. Yep. Because the whole uh, the whole point with the logs on top is to get them coming from yep. the sides you wanna yep. shoot. And then there's a, actually, there's a fairly straight shot from yeah, that way. Yeah, there's a pretty decent trail there. Well, let's grab the stump so I know how big to dig the hole. Oh, let me find my stump. Yep. This has been here for a while. Oh yeah. It's a pretty soft stump. They may they may do some damage. Right? Oh it's gonna break. I can already feel it in my hands. At least. Okay. Yeah, this is all it's already falling apart right there. Yeah. That must be a root. You chop it. Well, let's see if I can expose. Yeah, I think there's a root there. <laughs> oh, look at this dirt though. Yeah. And then it's all just sand. Nice. Uh, I've got a, hold on, one of them needs to be at least 42 inches. Measure. You got a height? They need to be as a uh, minimum length of 42 inches to be a legal bear. So it's oh. a good idea to leave a, gotcha. a stick out. And since that one's pretty identifiable, Perfect. That's just 42. Right up here? Yeah. Close. You want a few smaller ones? Uh, they, those ones can be any length. It doesn't matter. They just need to be big enough to where animals, animals other than bear can't easily move them. Yeah. yeah. Because it, it gets aerated and then you squish all the air out of it. Something At least like I would that. think. Yeah. Something like that. Well, that's good enough for the girls I date. Okay. Had enough logs to cover you? Yeah. We'll grab the axe and we'll be on our way. Head out, come back with bait, and we're good. Yeah. So, because we plan on bringing one of those uh, 
drink mix jugs, we can only bring one bucket. <coughs> Otherwise we'll exceed the 10 gallons because liquid is included in that 10 gallons, oh. remember? Yeah. So it'll be just one blue, blue bucket and... Uh, well, them, them things are only, I think, three gallons. No, they're five gallon. Are they five gallons? Yeah, those no, are five I think gallon. they make five gallons. No, that's a five gallon. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it is a it is a five gallon. Holy fuck. Yeah. Now carry that for almost a whole mile. Yeah. You're like, it's ten gallon. <laughs> it feels like by the end of it. I'm so glad I found you, buddy. Yeah, right. That's what happened at uh well that's what happened at the second bait. Well like, that that means you're at least thinking like other bear hunters. And that's why I'm like, I'm glad I'm I'm glad I'm not uh Entirely clueless on this one. You what? I said I'm glad I'm not entirely clueless on this one. Right. Like right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You gonna do cookies first? Want a little flavor in the bottom? Ah, uh, do a bit of both. Oh yeah, yeah, it'll be Gucci. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Just, almost just enough. Yeah. Yeah. Then you want to do a little bit on top. Just like that, you're thinking? Yep. Well, let's see if that cover is over here. Did they have a cover log? I didn't think so. They did. Did they? Oh, but it fell apart. Yeah, I'll use a couple pieces. Or does it way, way fall apart? It way, way fell apart. That might be just about big enough to fill that circle, though. Yeah. That That's the important thing, and then, right. then we want logs this going way. this way. Okay. Big heavy ones down on the bottom. And then basically it's just cover it. Just cover this? Yep, all over it. Get the scent on there, because anything that steps on that is going right. to spread it. And then basically just drench the area. All right, my camera's about to die, you guys. I'll see you later. Have a good one.